Right, therefore you will identify when you look at our trade and other payables, T account. I've included the 457-315-167 on the credit side, 371-2250-135 debit side. Please refer to the notes in terms of the detailed explanations. Therefore, the movement will be the 86, which is not cash. That 86 is included in my interest paid. 86, which is not cash. Right. Okay. Now, next, when you refer to the 900, the 900 is a movement in terms of our guarantees. Therefore, if you think about this, in our other expenses, that 900,000 is included in our other expenses. And we need to take this out because this is not cash. The same with the 324, we need to take this out because it's not cash. But let's just quickly indicate to our marker, where do we get this? This is our calculation 5. And then we need to take this out. I'm going to include calculation 5. And we have our provision in terms of our guarantee. And we have our provision in terms of our bonus. Our guarantee, add back the 900. And add back the 324. Right, now let's refer back to our scenario. We're able to tick off these amounts. We have transferred this. Now, during the year, the company acquired Top Speed, a wholly owned subsidiary, wholly owned 100%. Identify, guys, that the acquisition price and the total of the fair value of our assets is exactly the same. Therefore, there's no goodwill and no gain on bargain purchase. Right, now your easy mark acquisition there is an outflow of cash which is the difference between the 10076 and the 905 why because this 905 will be included in our group cash at the end of the year and the total outflow was the 100760 therefore on the face of our cash flow statement we have an acquisition investment increase in our subsidiary, but only the net amount should be included. Only the net amount should be included, and this will be 9170. And this is an outflow. Let's just indicate how do we get to this. It's 10076 minus the 905. Round off, 9170. Right. Therefore, if you now look at this, what is our next step? First, we had to indicate only the cash outflow. And now we need to include our property, plant and equipment. Line item, we are busy reconciling. 9210. And this will increase on the debit side. Therefore, plus the subsidiary. 9210. Then if we refer back, we have the financial asset at fair value, the 38,000. If you look at the calculation at the bottom, plus our subsidiary, and this is the 38. Next line item, 253, our inventory. And there, debit side plus our subsidiary. I just want to obtain the amount here, guys. Sorry, 253. 253. Right? Plus our trade receivables, 1115. Trade receivables, calculation 3. Plus the subsidiary, 1115. Right? 1115. Okay, we have included our cash portion. Trade payables 574 and our taxation and our short term borrowings. Let's transfer this. Trade payables on the credit side plus the subsidiary 574. Then, in terms of our borrowings, we have our 
long term borrowings one to six plus our subsidiary now i'm lying short i'm sorry guys plus subsidiary one two six i'm just going to film this one two six short term borrowings yes and then our taxation tax payable plus our subsidiary seven four five right now let's identify we have transferred all of the relevant details relating to our subsidiary remember if we have sold the subsidiary we have to take out the amount then this would have been on the other side of our t account note nine dividends declared declared not yet paid one zero five one five therefore let's transfer this to our t account it's declared not yet paid very important one zero five one five and this is declared now that we have transferred all of the relevant details we need to balance our t accounts the debit minus credit and identify on which side our balancing amounts should be included now i've indicated that you can now balance your t accounts but what does this mean if you look at my trade and other receivables on the credit side the total will be six 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 now i need to ensure that that total on the debit side is exactly the same to be able to do this i will have to identify that there is a balancing amount of one 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 zero five now if you think about this journal if we will debit our trade receivables we will credit our bank if we credit our bank our bank will decrease look at this therefore in our calculation number one we will decrease our cash receipts with one 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 zero five and our total cash receipts will be two five five three six four let's transfer this to the face two five five three six four right now next here count calculation for inventories if you look at our inventories on the debit side our balancing figure one two three seven four therefore if you include this as a t account we will debit our inventories and we will credit our bank if we credit bank negative right decrease then if you refer to calculation two on the right side you will identify our inventory calc four one two three seven four you see guys brackets look at the brackets right if you look at inventories one two three seven four and we include brackets one two three seven four now look at my trade and other payables on the credit side one sorry six four two nine think about the debit your bank therefore bank will increase a positive and credit our trade payables also an increase our trade payables increase on the credit side right and then transfer that amount to calculation two six four two nine six four two nine right and we are able to calculate our total one nine eight five eight seven transfer this one nine eight five eight seven and we are able to include our cash generated from operations five six seven seven right now ppe if you look at my ppe account our balancing figure will be on the debit side two eight nine four three again think about your journal debit our ppe increase and credit bank decrease therefore we buy do you see we buy we purchased ppe now purchase of ppe this will be our i just want to check my calculation number calculation six and this will be calculation number six and this will be an outflow of two eight nine 
four three guys one six two hundred also an outflow because it's a purchase right then if we refer to our investment and associate balancing figure on the debit side therefore debit investment in associate our credit our bank right bank decrease we purchase therefore an outflow acquisition of an associate if you look at my investing activities we have an acquisition which I need to include here of associate this is our calculation seven it's an outflow three double zero four let me just check this three double zero four right now financial asset at fair value through profit or loss to be able to balance this t account on the debit side one one eight five it's a purchase therefore acquisition of financial asset through fair value at fair value through profit or loss right let's include this it's an acquisition therefore purchase financial asset at fair value through profit or loss and this will be our calculation number eight it's an outflow one one eight five right Therefore, we've transferred all of these T accounts as balances. Now, next, look at calculation 9, non-controlling interest. If you look at the balancing figure here, 200, right? This 200, we will transfer to our shareholders for dividends account to their credit side. If we debit our NCI, we credit our shareholders for dividends you see right now therefore our nci balance i'm going to look at the cup 10 and 11 and then we will look at the shareholders for dividends t account when you look at calculation 10 calculation 10 on the credit side we balance therefore there is an increase if there's an increase you agree with me we debit our bank We've received money and we credit a borrowing, right? Therefore, in our or on our cash flow statement, we've received. Therefore, on our cash flow statement, we have proceeds from a long-term borrowing. Again, calculation 10. And this will be 31101. Look at this. 31101. Now, refer to our short-term borrowings. Again, on the credit side, we debit our bank and we credit 14281. On the face, proceeds, calculation 11, 14281. Right, we have balanced all of our T accounts on this page. Next, deferred tax. We need to balance our deferred tax on the credit side. This will be transferred to our tax payable, 7841. If we credit our deferred tax, we debit our tax payable. And our balancing figure will be 5450. This is a creditor. Therefore, if we debit our payable, we credit our bank. Therefore, an outflow of our bank, right? We pay 5450. Therefore, when you look at the face, income taxes paid 5450, include your brackets, right? Just wanting to ensure that I have the right calculation. Calculation 13. And this is my calculation 13. Now, shareholders for dividends. If we balance our shareholders for dividends, we debit 10715. If we debit shareholders for dividends, a liability, we credit our bank, which will be an outflow. Calculation 14. Dividends paid at the top, we have calculation 14. And this will be an amount of 10715. Right, now, 
we have transferred all of our T accounts. We are able to complete our cash flow statement. If we look at cash received, 2038 minus the 45, right? This will be 1993. Now, this is a positive. They've received this amount. In terms of our cash paid, negative. They pay. Therefore, this is an outflow of cash. Receive inflow of cash. Dividends received, 655 plus 2354. This is an inflow of 3009. Then we have our dividends paid and our income taxes paid. Right, and you can now complete your cash flow statement by including your totals.